Alright guys, today I'm going to show you how to install a Canon high flow air filter on your Honda TRX 400EX. Uh, it's pretty pretty simple install. You're going to need a, a Phillips head screwdriver and a flat head screwdriver. It usually just depends on the hose clamp that uh, is on there, but I think I need both of them for this. Alright guys, going to go ahead and take off the back plastic for the four wheeler. Uh, that's pretty simple. All right, uh, now that you got the back plastics off, you're going to go ahead and remove your airbox lid. On this particular model, there's some little clamps that hold it on. There's six of them on this one. Pretty simple. Pop those off. And remember the orientation of the lid so you can put it back on the same way. This one says front, as you can see. Pretty simple. And there's your uh, stock air, air filter. Now that you have the airbox lid removed, you're going to go ahead and take a, either a Phillips or flat head screwdriver and remove the hose clamp that's holding on your uh, original air filter. Alright, now that you have the air box lid removed and you've loosened the hose clamp holding on your air filter, you're going to go ahead and take and pull this off. should come off really easy like that. This is what your air box will look like or should look like. Uh, a little bit of dirt in there. Um, while you have the air filter out, probably a good idea to take a damp cloth just wipe out your uh, air box, get any debris or anything that shouldn't be in there, get it out of there. Alright, now that you got the hose clamp on there, you're going to want to go ahead and try to slide the uh, new filter in. It takes a little bit of co coaxing to get it in there just right, especially doing it with one hand. Yeah, I was able to get it in there. Just want to make sure it doesn't wiggle around or slide. Uh, and then uh, now you're just going to go ahead and tighten up the hose clamp on here. Alright, now that the hose clamp's tightened up, I'm going to go ahead and put the air box lid on. Make sure you get it in the right orientation as it was when you took it off. You've got the front on the front side. And then just lock the clamps back in place. Pretty simple. And there you go. Alright, now uh, your Canon air filter will come with a, a decal or sticker that looks like this. I'm just going to go ahead and put it on my air box lid right here so that anybody can see it. Uh, before I put it on, wipe this down good and make sure it's cleaned off, otherwise the sticker will not stick. Alright, I got the uh, sticker in place. Uh, that should be it. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put the, the rear plastics back on and uh, it should be good to go. That's all there is. Thanks.